Hey guys, in today's video, I'm sharing with you my thrifted spring home tour. I will be sharing how I decorated these items for spring. So hopefully you guys will be inspired with some of these tips and ideas that I share. Now, many of you said you wanted to see my home tour with my thrifted items. So this video is a little long. So please try and stick with me because I have lots to share. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, so we are outside. Excuse me if you hear any outdoor noise. But I wanted to start out here on the porch because thrifting starts at the front door. So as I was strolling through one of my garage sales, I noticed a home had these pots on the edge of their driveway with a sign that says, if you can lift these pots, you can have them. And the sign read that way because they are cast iron and are very heavy. So I immediately called my husband and told him where I was and that I needed him to come and pick up these pots. So he wasn't very happy when he got there, but they did make their way into our truck and onto my front porch. Now I haven't started to decorate for spring yet, but if you guys are interested, I will definitely bring you along. I do have a wreath out that I picked up from Home Goods. Um, it was not thrifted, but I plan on um, decorating for spring really soon. Okay, so entering the home, you see my dining room that you guys toured um, in my last video, so I won't go into detail in that room. But if you wanna hear the details for this room, you can refer back to the thrifted dining room video. One of the first items that I'm gonna share with you from my thrifted items will be this Bombay chest. And I'm sure you guys may have seen this chest many of times when I've styled my entryway. And so this Bombay chest I got from Goodwill. It was $19.99 and it had a hunting scene on the front, right down the front of the um, dresser drawers. and I knew that the shape would be beautiful in a solid color, and so I did bring it home. Now, when I first brought it home years ago, I painted it black, and then the little detailed area here, I painted in a silver, as well as the handles. And so over the years, as my taste changed, I um, painted it out in a cream color, and did a little distressing on it. And so it's been this way for some time, but this is a piece that I use to store my um, napkins and napkin rings. Since it's right next to the dining room, it comes in handy to have it close by. And I almost forgot about the mirrors. Both mirrors were purchased from Goodwill, as well as the one hanging on the wall behind us. And so mirrors are always a good thing to look for in Goodwill. You can always paint them. The gold one was a turquoise blue, 
and so yeah it's been black and so now it's gold and so as we tour some of these spaces if i've already toured these spaces in the year of 2021 i won't go into detail i will just refer back to the other videos if you want to see it in detail because i do plan on um, decorating the whole house for spring slash easter if you want to see a tour where i have more color then come back for a spring um, slash easter home tour I'm going to take you into the study. I also did a video on this room as well, but I didn't talk about the thrifted so items. In this space, I thrifted these two in um, curio cabinets. And they actually came with another cabinet that I'll show you in the living room, which I haven't painted yet, but the three of those cabinets came together. These two ends and the TV cabinet were a set. I purchased those together from a consignment shop, I think for $150. And then later on at Nebraska Furniture Mart, they have a clearance center. And so I purchased this desk and hutch from them and then to make the this unit look like one unit that came together i just painted all of these pieces the same color i don't know if you guys remember these bottles here but i picked these two bottles up from goodwill and originally they were the top and the bottom are the same but there was a purple stripe in the middle and I just take off the um, top and the bottom to paint the middle in a gold color. And I shared that in one of my videos when I made over the living room. So just a simple change of one small color can change the entire look of the piece. And so I did the same thing with this um, urn here that I got from Goodwill. It was in a kind of a terracotta color. And of course I came home and whitewashed it like I do most of my vases. And I had mentioned to you guys in another video that vases and um, different vessels and urns are excellent pieces to look for in the Goodwill. And you can just paint over it and get a totally different look. So I do tend to get a lot of my pieces from Goodwill when I'm looking to decorate a bookcase or even a mantle. So if you are interested in seeing the makeover on this room, you can refer to my 2021 playlist. So here in the living room, I will also come back with a spring slash Easter tour. But for today, we're just going to concentrate on the thrift finds. Okay, so this ottoman was purchased from a garage sale for $5. When I originally got it, it was in a brown leather. And I picked it up because I thought the legs on this stool matched the legs on my chair here and I really wanted um, an ottoman to put my feet up on so I thought that was perfect and so what I did was um, spray painted the ottoman in an ivory color and I got the spray paint from Home Depot. Now it was messed up pretty bad you can see a lot of flaws in it but for five dollars i thought i could bring it home and try and um, make it new again and so i did spray paint it in an ivory color and so guys when it comes to spray painting my furniture i will only do that to furniture that is really old or maybe 
badly damaged. For instance, this chair, you will never see me spray painting this chair. <laughs> okay, so this is the entertainment cabinet that matches the two cabinets that I showed you from the uh, study over there. And I will paint this one in gray, hopefully, to match those other two. I just haven't had a chance to do so at the moment. I really wanna get a new piece for in here, something a little bit more current, but it's not a priority. You guys see my little vase that I thrifted and repainted. I did a um, video on that. You wouldn't believe how it looked when I purchased it, but I think the makeover turned out really nice. So in my dining room video, I mentioned that I had a second lamp that I thrifted. And so this is the second one. And I have just been pretty lucky getting lamps at the Goodwill. And so this little urn here, this is one of the few things that I can say I thrifted and did not make over. So in my last living room tour, I mentioned that I was trying to pull more brown into the space to incorporate this brown leather chair that I have had for some time. And so I purchased this picture over the Christmas season to incorporate the brown leather chair. It has brown and taupe and kind of a coppery color and gray and silver. And so I thought that was perfect to tie in the chair. And so I wanted to use those same colors to tie in colors throughout the room. And so here, on my bookcase, I started putting some, pulling together some colors that I thought would pull out the colors from the picture. And one of the first things that I do is go to Goodwill first to see if it's something I can repaint or if hopefully I can find the color that I'm looking for. But that never really happens. Other than my mercury glass pieces. So you guys know I get a lot of my mercury glass from Goodwill. And then in an earlier video, I shared this vase that I got from Goodwill. I got that um, architectural piece from Goodwill, as well as this bottle here that I picked up. Um, I was not supposed to be buying any more mercury glass, but um, when I saw it and it had the nice dark strapping here and the darker bottom I thought yeah it's okay and it, it has a a nice muted tone to it it's not real bright and I thought it was just the perfect piece to add to the brown you guys might remember this little vase here that's not really a vase it is a light cover and I picked that up from Goodwill because I love the color of it and I thought it would fit in well with the brown and taupes and then this bowl, you guys might remember it. I hauled that back in the fall and did a makeover on it. And so when it comes to putting together a bookcase, just finding some um, nice pieces, I would recommend starting at the Goodwill, uh, at least for me, because I do change out my decor season. And if you can find some of your decor items at the Goodwill, you can get by without spending a lot of money. I do the same thing for my artwork. If it's made of a certain material, wood or metal, I will get it like this one here and then just paint it out in a neutral color or add whatever colors that matches my decor. And so no room is off limits when it comes to thrifting. And so since this is a small I do space, try to be a little thrifty when decorating this space. I like to look for canvases in the Goodwill. Um, it doesn't matter what the subject is because nine times out of 10, I'm going to paint over it.
Okay, so once the joint compound dried, I added a neutral color on top of the joint compound in various areas. And I also left some of the gold and the darker color exposed. I can't remember what the original art looked like because this piece has been changed many times. Okay, so I did get this table thrifting. I got this at Savers for $7.99. It is a beautiful metal um, silver table now, but when I got it, it was gold. It has this antique looking uh, mirror for the tray. Okay, so these two chairs here were a definite winner for me, but when I purchased them, they did not look anything like they do today. Now you may have seen in a video when I redecorated my basement, um, I gave them a gray wash. And so what I did was used a drop cloth to cover the seats. I have um, two pillow covers that I got from Hobby Lobby against the back. But the best part about these chairs is that I got them for, I think I got six of them for $25. Yeah. And I had purchased them from a consignment shop that I frequent quite a bit and saw them for like a hundred dollars and maybe they were 150 but I knew I did not want to pay that price so I just kept visiting the chairs I didn't really need them at the time my kids were a little younger and I was going to use them as um, chairs for their game table and so one day I went into the consignment shop and they were marked down this was months later and they were marked down. And so the guy, I said, I only needed four, um, but he wanted to get rid of them so badly that he sold them to me for the $25 and gave me the two extra. I have four more in the basement. Okay, so we are in the master right now, and I will be doing a full tour of the master once I get it painted. But today, I'm just going to share some of the thrifted items. Okay, so this is another art piece that I thrifted from Goodwill. It was a royal blue and gray and white canvas, and all I did was went over the existing pattern with different colors, and then I added a little glitter and I added some cut glass from Michael's. So both art pieces that you see here, I got the canvas from Goodwill and I just put my own spin on it. Okay, so both nightstands came from a garage sale and then the pair of lamps came from goodwill now the lamps were tarnished pretty badly but i was able to get them clean and i shared that in a video and 
I am so happy with the way they turned out. And the lamps are brass, marble, and crystal. Okay, so the nightstands were an excellent score. I got each one for $25 a piece. And so the nightstands were originally brown and black. And I had been admiring um, silver Bombay chests online. And so when I saw these, and if you, I'll get it a little closer, you can see the little detail on the front of the drawer. I just knew that would be the perfect color to paint these. And so I did use a silver Krylon spray paint. And then on the drawer fronts, I used a brown wax. And so I think I like the brown wax better than just the straight silver. And so I will be finishing out the rest of the dresser with the brown wax. Okay guys, so in the last video I shared that this Bombay chest was gifted to me, but I didn't share the story about the mirror. Now I thrifted this mirror for $12 and it's a beautiful beveled mirror. Now you're probably saying to yourself, wow, what a great deal. But let me tell you where the problem is. So here at the bottom, the mirror has some water damage and it's all the way across the mirror. So I thought I could um, scrape the layer, a layer off the back and kind of antique it all the way around the outer frame, but there's a um, plate on the back of the mirror. So in the meantime, I just try and cover it up with decor to camouflage it until I can repair it. Okay, so I think I shared this with you guys before, but I found this um, headboard at Savers. It was in a brown leather, and I came home and gave it a coat of spray paint in silver, and this is how it turned out board has held up pretty nicely. I'm sure it has been a good five years since I painted this headboard.